guys, it's Bunnies, and welcome back to another video. So today we are back with a Q&A, and it's been quite some time, some time, some time, since we've done a Q&A, I feel like. So I thought it was only appropriate and perfect timing to do a Q&A. Uh, the other day I posted on my Instagram and asked you guys if you had any questions, and we got a lot a lot of questions like over 200 I think almost 300 questions so I won't be able to answer all of those questions and if you asked me a question and I didn't answer it I'm so sorry I will do my best to get to your question hopefully one day and uh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and you don't already know what my Instagram is I always post my links to all my social medias everything in my description box but if you haven't seen it and you want to follow me on Instagram my Instagram is lots of bunnies and then my art Instagram if you guys want to follow that is lots of bunnies art so I feel like it's pretty simple and uh, I Either pull typically I pull questions either from my Instagram or my Twitter so if you want to go follow me on Twitter it's lots of bunnies too so yes we are gonna be doing Instagram Q&A because I asked you guys uh, like maybe last post I think I want to say like maybe like one post to go like if you guys had any questions and there were a lot of questions so I hope you guys like the Q&A if you do be sure to give them a big old thumbs up and if you do hit that sub button with your funny balls I am also trying to think of some challenges I want to get in to our videos sometime soon so if you guys have any challenges you guys want to see me do other than the 10,000 calorie challenge I know everyone's gonna be like 10,000 calorie challenge hopefully maybe sometime soon I could try that I, I asked my brother if he would do that with me and well he said no so we'll see but any other challenges other than the 10,000 calorie challenge if you have anything you want to see me do please sure to comment down below and I'm gonna start trying to post even more on YouTube because I've been getting a lot of requests to do like the 30 day challenge again so we might come back with that but Let's get straight into the Q&A. And our first question <laughs> is literally from Joe Blackmer, 52, and it says, will you do a 10,000 calorie challenge? <laughs> And I do want to do a 10,000 calorie challenge really, really, really bad. Um, I feel like I've watched a lot of 10,000 calorie challenges and I feel like I've learned some stuff from them. For a really long time I was like, I can't justify doing a 10,000 calorie challenge because I just didn't feel like it was a great thing to do for your body, but I don't know, I've been thinking about it more lately, so maybe I asked my brother if he'd do it with me. I know I told you guys that already, but uh, I definitely want to plan for it if I do do it. So I want to like make a schedule and all the things I'm going to eat at like certain times. Hopefully that works out good. So I know like what I'm going to be eating and I already know like the calculations of the calories and for my the increments so I don't have to like you know, try to squeeze things in all throughout the day and be like, oh crap, I'm super ender. So remember, I'm only five foot two. So no, not like five foot two, but like five foot as well. So I feel like 10,000 calorie challenge might be kind of hard, but I can definitely try. If you guys want to see me do the 10,000 calorie challenge, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. If this video gets 2,000 likes, maybe we'll do it this upcoming week. I can't make any promises, but I can definitely try. So, our next question is from Alex underscore remains. Can you do a day in the life video? Um, like, just like a vlog, or I think that's just like a daily vlog. I feel like day in the lives are just like vlogs from non-vloggers, basically. And I can do that. I don't mind doing those, um, or like vlogs every now and again. I do vlog with Ant more than anything on his second channel, which is more A9 skills. If you want to see like, what kind of goes on in my daily life, but I can definitely do a day in my life video or like vlog every so often. I don't mind doing it. I think it's a lot of fun and I just don't know if you guys want to see me vlog more or like do day in the lives of me because it's just going to be like a lot of preparation for art stuff or streams or YouTube so I could try though. Alright, our next question is for Lord underscore underscore mall underscore. If you have a baby, would you like it to be a boy or a girl? <gasps> what? Um, if I ever had a baby, I would want two and I'd want one boy, one girl. That's it. That's all I want. That's like perfect for me. <laughs> Holy crap, Instagram's coming in with some serious questions. Our next question is from Sal Salmanister. Salam wait, what the hell? Salmanister. Salmanister? I'm so sorry if I, if I butchered your name. Will you get any more tattoos? I will be getting more tattoos. Uh, I I have to find some good, or like I have to find a good artist that I really like their work uh, before I get tattoos. But uh, I do have one planned for sure, and uh, and that is that is a base that is literally a, like a replica of my grandmother's tattoo. It's like literally going. I want it to be identical to hers. So I want the same tattoo as my grandmother on the same spot, which is like on the inner part of her ankle and it's like a Mexican style half moon, half sun. So 
it's really pretty, but it's very like, it's very unique in the style of it. It's not just like, I don't know, it's really pretty. I love it. She actually got it done in Mexico, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I want to go to a tattoo artist who understands like that, <laughs> that culture and knows how to, I don't know, I guess like the celestial suns that I guess is more from like the, the Mexican culture, like the way they design them. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but so I kind of want to go through like, I think a Mexican tattoo artist for that or somebody who's maybe just really into the culture. I, our next question is from Tony J Armstrong. Seeing as we only have a couple of months left in 2018, have you stuck to any of your new year's resolutions that you made at the start of the year? Uh, if you made any. Um, I did say that I wanted to hit some goals on like my channels and on my stream and stuff like that. But the actual like resolution that I that I had for myself was just to I know I said I wanted to start like working out more and I wanted to be more consistent with like YouTube uploads and streaming and whatnot. And I think that for the most part, I do think I have stuck with it for my stream. I've been streaming like I stream almost every single day. If I take one day off, that's it throughout the week. I stream literally every day for like anywhere between typically five to six hours and well, not not five and six hours, like minimum of like six to like eight hour streams like every single day. So I feel like I've stuck with that. Uh, YouTube, I feel like I've been like pretty consistent but also not consistent at the same time. So I feel like that's been like up and down and then the gym has just been stripped. No man, <laughs> not at all. All right, the next question is from Nike J. Hey Nike. Uh, <laughs> now that you're doing Twitch, YouTube, and now Patreon, uh, how do you find time to balance between the three platforms? You're doing great by the way, keep it up. Oh, thanks man. Um, between Twitch, YouTube, and now Patreon slash like my artwork stuff, it has been a lot, it's definitely like a lot to try to balance. I would say that when I'm doing stuff on like the Patreon or for my art in general, typically I feel like YouTube always ends up coming like last. So typically like I always prioritize Twitch over everything because it is my job and like I want to be there because... I don't know, I just, I wanna be there as much as I can and I love streaming so I do prioritize Twitch over everything and then it's just kinda like I try to fit in YouTube and Patreon together and it is definitely hard. Um, it takes some serious like balancing. Uh, I would just say that like I always put something on hold for another though. It's like I'm not good at juggling. I'm just like, oh, pause you right here and then I'm gonna do this that one day and then I'm gonna the next day, switch them out basically. I just kind of like switch the two out. Uh, if anybody has any good ideas for balancing a lot of stuff to do, please be sure to comment down below so you can help me out maybe because I need help, <laughs> I need help. I don't know how to balance. I mean, I could make YouTube videos every single day. It could happen. The only thing about YouTube videos for me, making them every day, is like I'm very particular when it comes to lighting. I know that sounds so silly, but Aunt actually is always like, like, if you're lighting, just make videos, nobody cares. And I don't know if that's true or not. I just feel like, like when the video looks nice like this and like the lighting's good, I feel good about the video. But if it's like, indoor yellow lighting and this isn't digs to anybody so like if you're a youtuber or you're making videos and you're using indoor yellow like there's nothing wrong with that i just don't like my videos to look like that because i feel like it looks just really like i don't know i just feel like it looks like really i don't know like homemade videos i don't know <laughs> i'm just not a crazy big fan of them so comment down below what your guys's opinions are about like the lighting do you guys actually even care about lighting like if this lighting was not natural really bright light but it was like really yellow and like looked like I was inside my bedroom like I mean obviously you know what I'm saying how would you guys feel about that do you guys care about lighting I care about lighting I'm like such a lighting crazy person so <laughs> all right the next question comes from Emery underscore Theo7 what's your favorite thing about being a youtuber uh I don't I still don't really see myself as like a youtuber to be honest I don't know. I would just say like you guys are are really awesome. Um, I like I love reading your guys' comments. Even though like I don't respond to comments, there's one reason why I don't respond to comments, and that is because it's just a really weird thing for me. Um, <laughs> I feel like every time I start responding to comments, I feel like it breaks my video. And I know that sounds really really silly, but I feel like every time like the video will be doing really, really good, and then I'll start responding to people's comments, and then I feel like all of a sudden, like, the video just gets broken, and, like, we 
the video like stops gaining views and like people are like I don't see it in my sub box or something like crazy happens so I just have this like really weird superstition where I don't respond to comments anymore and that's literally the only reason why I don't respond to comments I love reading your comments I read them I literally stay on my YouTube app like reading your comments um, by the way super shout out to I forget who it was but somebody gave me the Chipotle uh, dressing recipe so thank you I see you I saw you in the comments so thank you so much but you guys honestly are just like super awesome that's the best part about about, like uploading to YouTube is like all the positivity and the really cool people I guess you get to meet especially through like social media all right, our next question is from fit Angie 76 hey girl what's your least favorite food to eat if you were told to evacuate your house immediately for three months what six things would you grab quick okay so two questions in one my least favorite food to eat oh man uh, I would say probably is like oh maybe like I don't know actually. There's a lot of foods I don't like. Um, I know that sounds really weird. You guys are like, what, bunny? You don't like food? No, there's a lot of foods I do not like at all. Um, I don't like ricotta cheese. I know that sounds so like, what the hell? But like my whole life, I hated lasagna because I hated ricotta cheese and I never knew why. Like, I didn't like lasagna. I just hated like the chunky cheese, which is ricotta. And I never knew, and everyone loves ricotta, so don't kill me for hating it, but I think that's probably like my least favorite food. I will eat, I will scrape it off, or I will just not eat <laughs> versus eating ricotta. I think it's a texture thing. I think like the, the texture of the ricotta, I don't know, man, I hate it. Oh, I hate ricotta cheese so bad, so ricotta cheese. <laughs> and um, if I only could grab six things and I had to evacuate my house, two would be my dogs. I, but I feel like that could be like lumped up into one thing because I mean, they're my dogs, so it's like, well, let's say that's one thing. <laughs> my dogs, um, my aunt, I would grab Anthony, <laughs> so I would grab my dogs and aunt, and then I would grab my camera, my laptop, <sighs> my camera battery, or like my charger for my cameras, and uh, my toothbrush. <laughs> I guess that's all I would grab because I have to stream and make videos for you guys and I can't leave behind my my aunt and my dogs so I have to grab those. I guess that's what I would grab. <laughs> Our next question is from Daniel underscore, oh god I just lost you, 1026, my bad. How different would your relationship be if you or Anthony had a normal job? So I think if me and aunt or me or aunt, one of us had a normal job, normal job, I think it definitely could like obviously make things a lot harder because like the times that we would be up and going to sleep would be so off we would probably spend like not very much time together if any at all like for the most part we spend all, like we spend as much time together as we can throughout the day but we all are, are always working but just the simple fact that one of us would probably be waking up around six o'clock like we would literally be on opposite schedule so I would wait one of us would wake up when the other one's going to sleep because we literally go to sleep at like six o'clock at night or I mean in the morning and then we wake up around like 11 12 in the afternoon so I don't think it would be impossible I just think that it would make things a lot harder and just like less convenient obviously but our next question is from Salvi underscore savage and that is does having a boyfriend who streams and does YouTube help keep your relationship strong how does it affect your relationship uh holy moly a lot of relationship questions um I wouldn't really say it helps keep our relationship like strong I would just say that it's always nice to have somebody who um is in like the same career I guess as you or like understands what you're doing so if you have any times where you're like stressed out about something or um, worried about something or anything like that it's easy to kind of bounce things off of even like ideas we always bounce ideas off of each other whether it's about YouTube videos or streaming it's we're always bouncing things off of each other um, so I think that's really convenient to have also the fact that like he understands and I understand understand things so like if maybe if maybe like I'm just feeling like super unmotivated and I'm just like I just don't want to like I just don't have the motivation to post or to stream I just feel really like down or something like that it's really nice to have him be able to kind of like scoop me up and be like hey it's okay 
it's okay. It'll, look, it is only gonna get better by continuing to post or by continuing to stream. Like, just keep pushing, you know, it happens. It's it's okay, it's normal. And the same goes for me with him, you know? I think that really helps a lot in like regards to that. Or even like, if maybe I'm having like a bad YouTube day or I'm just like, oh my God, like, people don't like me anymore or like, what the hell? You know, what's going on? I don't know what to do. It's really nice that he'll be like, you know, um, it's okay, <laughs> it was just a bad YouTube day, it's not that serious. Except instead of me like getting into my own head and being like, man, <laughs> I don't know, my job is over, everybody hates me. Cause it's really easy to do that. I think when you're a streamer and a YouTuber, it's really easy to, like if you have like one bad day, be like, oh my God, it's all over. It's, it's the end of the world, my job is over, nobody likes me anymore. No one's coming to watch my videos, I did something wrong. Or it's just so easy to kind of let that all like, get into your head or especially if you've had like a bad just week in general so it's nice to have him like be able to be like hey it's okay <laughs> so i think that really helps a lot so i hope you guys liked today's q a if you did be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and if you didn't hit that sub button with your funny paw also remember if you made it to the end of the video comment down below 10k challenge because if this video gets to 2,000 likes i will do my best to do a 10k challenge within the next Maybe a week or two, <laughs> maybe a week or two, we'll see. We will see. I also have some really big surprises for you guys coming up and I just hope you guys like the videos and thank you guys so much for supporting me. I know I took some a break when I went to England and I didn't post for like almost, two, oh, I didn't post for a week and I came back home and I posted one video within a week. So I posted like one video within two weeks. So thank you guys so much for still supporting the channel and watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next video. If I didn't answer your question, remember I'm so sorry. I will do my, my best to answer your question next time. If you guys have any questions, next Q and A will be a YouTube comment video. So comment down below your questions. Only the true video watchers, I guess, will, will know this, Shh. but um, <laughs> So if you have any questions that you want me to answer, maybe you don't have social medias or you just don't want to follow me on social medias, you can comment them in the comment section below and the next Q&A will be your guys' YouTube comment question, question comments. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye guys!